G'day guys, how's it going? In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at why it's important to understand the speed of a song and what is BPM. Now, it's important for musicians to understand the speed of a song so that they can play in time together. And if they don't play in time, it can end up sounding like noise. Let me give you an example of this. Music is a repetitive pattern, like my finger clicks. Each of these finger clicks are the same distance apart. While noise is random, which means these finger clicks come in at random times. Now, I'm not saying that noise sounds bad, just that its pattern is made up of random lengths. At a live concert, you may have noticed a drummer click their sticks before the start of a song. When they do this, they are letting the other musicians know the speed of the song as well as when to start playing. And it's important for the drummer to have a great understanding of the speed of the song so that they don't start the song too fast or too slow. There is nothing worse than hearing your favourite song being butchered by being played too fast or too slow. Okay, now let's understand the term BPM. BPM stands for beats per minute. Now, if you tap your foot in time to the pulse of a song, then each foot tap is referred to as a beat. You can hear the pulse of a song by closing your eyes and concentrating on the drums. Listen for the bass drum, which sounds like a low boom, and the snare drum, which sounds like a mid-range crack. Let me give you an example of this. Now, as I click my fingers in time with my poor attempt at beatboxing, each finger click represents a single beat. Boom, k, boom, k, boom, k. The per minute part basically means how many beats there are in one minute. And if you have a BPM of 60, that means that there will be 60 beats in the minute. There are, of course, 60 seconds in a minute. So that means that each beat would last one second. And if you have a BPM of 120, then each beat will last half a second. If you are reading sheet music, usually there is a BPM marking that will give you the speed of the song which in most cases will look like this. However, sometimes they may only give you a term like fast, medium or slow. And if you want to know the exact BPM of these terms, you will find a list of these in the description. You can actually calculate the BPM of the song by ear by using this neat little trick. Listen to a song for 15 seconds and count the number of beats you hear. Then multiply the number you counted by the number 4 and this will give you the BPM of the song. Here is an example. If you counted 25 beats in 15 seconds and multiplied it by 4, you will get a BPM of 100. We multiply by 4 because in a minute there are 60 seconds and 15 multiplied by 4 equals 60. If you want a more precise way of doing it, then count the beats for 30 seconds and multiply this by 2. Okay, now if all of this is too much for you, there is a metronome on a website that you can use to work out the BPM of a song. The web address is www.8notes.com, which don't worry, I'll leave that in the description. All you need to do is tap your spacebar of your keyboard in time with the song and it will calculate the BPM for you. It's brilliant. Now, in case you're wondering, this is a real world metronome. It's like a wind-up toy, yeah, that has a pendulum that swings back and forth like a clock. As well as this, there are also electronic metronomes and metronome apps that you can get for your smartphone. I will leave links in the description to the ones I like to use. So what has been your experience with playing in or out of time with a song? I know in the beginning it was a real struggle for me. I was once told by my guitar teacher that I had no timing and I was nearly kicked out of my own band because of this. Anyway, uh, I'd love to hear from you. So please leave your advice or horror stories in the comments. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, hit the subscribe button so you're notified immediately when the next one is released. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next shoot. Bye.